This is Saul. I'm here with another video for Master Resources. And what I got here is the Bushcraft Buck Saw. And basically what I did was I took a bow saw blade. It's a little cobweb, you know. I've been out in the garage. But uh, I took a bow saw blade that I got from Ace Hardware. So I forget how much it was. And uh, I've been carrying it for a while in my backpack. And the other day I just uh, went ahead and decided to make the uh, bu uh, bushcraft buck saw out of some pieces of wood I found. And uh, what I did was I went and got the uh, bolts and nuts to fit the buck saw or the bow saw blade. And uh, I carved the middle piece to where it fits in here. And I had to do some work on, on this side. On this side, I found a nice little notch that fit perfect. And then uh, I got some paracords from 550 up there. And uh, what you do is you just twist it and twist it and twist it. And you leave it there in the tension until it's tight enough. And then uh, I'll use the thick end. And then you can use it as a saw. And uh, you can go through some serious logs. If you leave enough height here, I can go through logs that are this high. Uh, so you're looking at logs like that and that's going to be pretty serious you can make some very very serious shelters out in the bush with something like this now you're going to need your cam saw to do it with I ain't going to lie I cheated and used a drill on some of these uh, I did screw some screws right in there because it was still loose but uh, uh, I used a drill to screw those in you can use a multi-tool to screw those in that's not a big deal these are uh, self-tapping screws um, these uh, these slits, I actually used the uh, camp saw to slip these. Uh, they say use the blade. That was too difficult. I used my camp saw. It's a little wider. That's no problem. It still fit. And uh, it's hard to get it exactly straight. That's the biggest problem when you make one of these. It's hard to get all the angles exactly right. So it's an engineering feat if you want to make one of these. Now, next time I'm going to try the bow saw. Uh, the bow saw, what you have to do, you have to find a really, really long piece of wood uh, that's about, well, about this thickness right here. And uh, it's got to be super, super long, like maybe 15, 20 feet, somewhere in that neighborhood. What you do is you start a fire, and then uh, you heat up the middle of that wood where you can grab it and bend it. You grab the ends, uh, you push one end against a tree or something, and you bend it over the fire. To, and you heat it up and heat it up and you bend it and bend it and bend it until you can grab both ends. And, uh, and then uh, what you do is uh, you, you cut off. I'm going to have to look at the video, but uh, somehow you cut it off and get the blade up in there. And then you can bolt it in if you want. Uh, you can use different ways of bolting. You can actually use wooden uh, dowels that you can make out in the wild. Those things will wear out, though. You have to keep replacing them. That's why I got these bolts. But uh, that, that looks like uh, that looked like it was going to be harder. But this is not exactly right. So I'm going to test this out on some uh, logs that uh, I find on the side of the road and see how it does. But uh, the next time I'm going to make a bow saw blade or a bow saw handle and, uh, and see how that works and see if that's going to be a little better. And thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next video.